All right, so a lot of you been asking about spinning the drumsticks. Basically, this is just something that I picked up along the way. Actually, I could spin the drumsticks before I ever had a set of drums because the only thing I could afford were drumsticks. That was back when drumsticks were affordable. Now, drumsticks aren't even affordable. So, there's basically uh, four techniques that I use. The first one is this, my left hand, okay? So I'll try and do it from the side so it's evident what I'm doing. That's at speed. So basically, if you grasp the stick between the forefinger and the thumb, and put your middle finger on this side of the stick so it's forcing it this way and then stick your third finger under to catch it so that when it gets vertical this way you can catch it with your left with your third finger and then you let go of it with your forefinger and it falls and you catch it with your hand so it's very hard to do slowly because it relies on the momentum of the stick, so. That's about as slow as I can do it. Without not being able to spin it because, like I said, it relies on the momentum of the stick. So again, it's stick your third finger behind, pull it a quarter turn, a half a turn, put your third finger another half a turn, push down with your forefinger again another half a turn, and then it comes back into your grip. And that's where the momentum is really important. If I do it slowly, I could probably do three of the halves, but it doesn't quite get back into my grip. So as slow as I can do it. That's about as slow as I can do it. Okay, so that's the left hand spin that I always do. And that's a good thing for the left hand uh, because, you know, constantly you're playing the backbeat, so you got a lot of time, bang, 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 you know, to get back on the beat. Okay, so now there's another um, variation of that where you stop halfway through. And basically, it's in order to go from traditional grip or from match grip to tr traditional grip. So if I go like this, I've got traditional grip. So basically, it's just the first quarter of the spin. So you're just putting your third finger behind the stick and rotating it and catching it in the cradle. So it's like this. Not quite. So you start out matched and you're in traditional. Matched, traditional. Matched, traditional. To go to tradition, uh, from traditional to matched, you just do that. You just pull it. Jesus Christ, I'm a better fingers tonight. Okay, so I'm traditional, I'm in matched. Traditional, I'm in matched. So, it's just a manipulation of the stick, basically. It's, it's, it looks cool, and it's a variation of what you already know how to do, just like I do with most stuff on the drums. I'm a lazy bastard. And uh, I do things the easy way. Okay, so now let's go to my right hand. My right hand, I used to be able to do the full thing that I do with my left hand. But in order to be able to ever use that with my right hand, I would have to be playing colossally slow beats. So... 
although I first learned this with my right hand, I can no longer really do it that smoothly because I never use it because the left hand is where it gets used. So my, my right hand, basically what it is, is if, if you see me you know, playing the hi-hat, that kind of thing, and I comp with my left hand, you know. Uh, basically it, what it is is half of this. So I do the first half and then I end up with the Carmine Apice, um grip, which he incidentally in the 80s had a special drumstick built for so that he could actually play the drums like this. And that is how he plays the drums right now, like this. Very bizarre, but it works. He's a great drummer. Anyway, and then I kind of just casually put my other two fingers over. So it's to that and to that. So that's quickly, okay? So that's, it's almost like a sleight of hand. So what we have is the half, Carmine grip, back to regular matched. 